Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Aditya, co-founder of Garchi and today we are going to see the concept of middleware and how to do a middleware or define a middleware or use a middleware in Nuxt. So without any further ado, let's begin. So what is a middleware? Now suppose you have a dashboard functionality in your app which is only accessed or which should the dashboard should only be accessed by the admins. So in that case, suppose if a if a random user's visit uh, on your app and if he wants to access this admin dashboard, if there are no certain checks or if there are no certain functionalities added to filter out the admins further to access the dashboard, a, a user can access the admin dashboard and can use all the features. Of course, you can put the checks in the piece of code, like wherever you want. And that might be cumbersome because you have to put that piece of code or you have to repeat that piece of code very often. So how to solve this problem? You use a middleware for that as a solution. So what this middleware does is you have your conditions or the filter or the checks or the rules, whatever you call it, written in that file, which is a middleware file. And this middleware file, it makes sure that if these rules are met or if these conditions are met, then pass the user to the dashboard because that user is admin else uh, return the user to the home route or do some other thing like log out the user and then return to the home page something like that like you can do various things with it a quick example here would be suppose i have this weather app actually it is there not to be supposed <laughs> so if you have seen my previous nux series there i have created this app so make sure you uh, check the description i will put the playlist link there so in this weather app like if i go to about and go to weather again i can access this weather page without any issue so suppose if i have some secure data here and i want this weather app to be accessed only by the authenticated users then it might be a problem because this is totally public so let's try to put a middleware on this weather app and let's have only authenticated users to have access to this weather app. I won't be creating the login page or the form and everything, everything. What I will do is I'll just simulate the process of it because our main concern is showing how middleware works. So let's go to the documentation quickly. So over here, if you see, uh, you can uh, in the middleware section, there is a middleware directory in your project. If it's not there, you can create it manually. So all the middlewares you write goes in that middleware directory. Okay, so let's see how this middleware works. So it takes in, so it's actually a function and it takes in the context. Uh, and based on that, you can either have the route middleware or the named middleware. So what is the router middleware? So it's generally like, suppose if you want to have post and get request to be made only by certain users, then you can have the router middleware. It just returns a promise and then you can, you just have to async it or just like an async function and you just await for that promise, something like that. The named middleware, this is what we are going to see for today. So this is something like uh, you have the file name in the middleware directory. So it's something like say if my middleware is auth middleware. So it will some it would be something like auth.js. And then my piece of code will go over there and we'll just call that middleware wherever we want. So suppose if I call that middleware on a layout, then all the pages in that layout will follow that middleware rules. And if the user meets those middleware rules, then all the pages in that layout will be visible by the user. If I want the user to have that, uh, if I want the, sorry, if I want the middleware to be on only one page, then I just need to put this middleware on a page rather than on the layout. So in our case here, I want this middleware only on the weather page. So let's see how to do it. So I'll just quickly copy this piece of code because I'm lazy to retype it, but obviously we'll slightly modify it. So if I go to our middleware directory, here you could see like there is a readme.md file which will give you brief information about it. But here let's create a new file. I will call it custom auth.js. And the piece of code I copied, I'll just paste it here. 
So now as you could see, we are taking two contexts over here. One is the store and one is the redirect. So the store refers to our Vuex store and redirect refers to the redirect uh, function which takes a URL or the sort of route or the URL actually and it just take it to take it uh, take the user or take it redirects it to that route whichever route you have mentioned here so we don't have a login route so I'll just take it to the home page so the functionality we are adding here is if the user is valid user we show the weather app if the user is not a valid user we just get take the user to the home page so let's go to our weather app now and let's add so before i add over here let's see so if i go to home i can go to weather like it's still taking me to the weather because i haven't mentioned the middleware here so let's mention the middleware here like this so middleware and this is the array so this middleware key it's defined in Nuxt, and you don't have to import from uh, import it from somewhere like you don't have to do that all you need to do is just have in that middleware property pass an array with the list of your middlewares so in our case we will be using custom auth we won't say .js we just give the name of the middleware which is custom auth this is because Nuxt knows that custom auth refers to custom auth.js file in the middleware directory you can have multiple middleware here like i can go something like auth 2 auth p and it will execute from left to right in this in serial like in serial order so make sure that whatever middleware you have put it they are put serially so once that's done now let's go to our weather page Actually, you can see we are already taken back to home page. Now, if I go to quick refresh, weather, it, it's not allowing me. If I go to about, it's allowing me. Now, if I go to weather, it's not allowing me. It's taking back me to the home page. So, if I type here again, weather, weather, it will take me back to the home page. So, now let's go to our custom auth.js and let's see what's happening here. So, we have a store. In that store there is a state and in which is authenticated user or a authenticated state if this is true then we don't have to go inside this it will just continue the next request but if it is false it will just go inside here and execute the code in this if section now let's see in our store in the index.js currently there are no states so let's add a state here so let's say authenticated and so sorry authenticated authenticate oh sorry authenticated and i will put it as true actually this should be an object it's going gonna, gonna to return it so say return and this goes up here now if i save this refresh and now if i go to weather page it allows me access because here i have set it to true now if i set it to false it won't allow me access if i go here home i'll try again okay it's allowing yeah, i'll just refresh it quickly and now if i go to weather it's not allowing me access so home about weather doesn't allow me access because previously it didn't work i have to refresh the page because the state is saved and once i refresh the page the state is resetted so that's the main thing now we saw like if it's in index.js we can stay straight away use the state like this but what if suppose my state is defined in a different file so suppose if i have a different store here let's say i have a new file and i have user.js which is my store for user oh, let's rename the file with double dot it should be just one dot this yeah so in this case how to use all the properties i have here in this middleware well it's pretty straightforward as we know that when we put the store object or context the 
next thing or even in view it will look straight away in the index.js by default of the store directory so what we need to do is we will just write here const uh, state so it's gonna be a function so return authenticated and we will say for now false because we just need to check it first and we will also have const and here we will have a getters so if you would like to know more about this their store and everything please do watch my next series there i have explained like how store works but i will quickly show you or quickly give you a brief explanation how this works so these getters are nothing but like the set of functions so we will have get auth status this will take the state and this will return state dot authenticated okay and we will just export default we will just export them and we will use state Getters and we also need to make sure that as we are using it as a module and a separate file we have to do name paste to be true okay so let's see what i have written here so there is a state getters if you are new to store getters are nothing but the set of functions which are used to return your states there is mutations and actions as well so mutations are used to assign value to the state and actions to do computation on your states so let's now try to use this so if i go to my custom auth now if i want to use that how i will do is i won't use this but i will say getters and name of my module or the file which is user.js and from that I want which function to be executed of getters this one get hot status Let's copy and paste it here now if I go back refresh whether it doesn't allow me from about to whether it doesn't allow me it takes back to the home page but if I go here and do this true and give it a quick refresh and go to weather it allows me so then i can select the city see the weather for that it allows me everything so that's how the middleware works in nuxt if you have any questions please feel free to put it in the comment section if you do like this video please hit the thumbs up button again please do not forget to subscribe and if you feel like this video is worth sharing please do share with your network so that's all from me now till next time goodbye